Good morning everybody, I hope you are all doing well. Actually after I have corrected some of your assignments, I have found uh, out that some of you make common mistake which is writing run-on sentences. So let's learn from this mistake and try to write a good, well-structured sentences. So let's start. First of all, what is a run-on sentence? A run-on sentence is a sentence with at least two independent clauses, two complete thoughts, two sentences that can stand alone, but they are forced together instead of being properly connected. So in order to solve this problem and correct these sentences, you have three options. The first one is to separate the clauses using punctuation marks or to separate the clauses using conjunction, or to rearrange the sentence by adding or removing words. So let's see the coming example. He put on some sunscreen. The sun was so hot and he wanted to go outside. Here I have three clauses. The first one is, he put on some sunscreen. This is the first one. The second one is, the sun was so hot. And the third one is, he wanted to go outside. So, let's think together how to put these three clauses together. So, a possible answer is, he put on some sunscreen because the sun was so hot and he wanted to go outside. Or we can simply say, because it was so hot, he put some sunscreen to go outside. So these two sentences are better than the previous one. So pay attention please. Just because a sentence is long doesn't necessarily mean it is run on. Because some long sentences are grammatically correct, while some short sentences are run on. So let's now try to answer these exercises try to correct the following run-on sentences. The first one is, my mother and father and sister are coming to dinner tonight. So what do you think? Let's try to write a better one. So we can simply replace my mother and father and write my parents. Or we can replace my mother and father and sister and simply write my family, right? Here is the answer. I like learning English. It makes me tired. So we have here to use a punctuation mark or connector. So we can say I like learning English, but it makes me tired. Also can you, however, so there are many possible answers. My sister was taller than me when we were young. Now I am the tallest, it's fun. So let's think together for a better one. My sister was taller than me when we were young, full stop. Now I am the tallest, comma, which is fun. This is a possible answer. I love school. I love learning. My teacher is nice. So these three clothes are forced together. We need to separate them. So let's think together. I love school and learning. Full stop. I have a nice teacher. We can also say, because I have a nice teacher, I love school and learning. So there are more than one possible answer. Another one is, I don't want much for Christmas, just some chocolates and little a little toy car. So let's think together. I don't want much for Christmas, colon, just some chocolates and a little toy car. 
or we can say I don't want much for Christmas I would be happy with some chocolates and a little toy car we can find out that these two sentences are better than the first one because the relationship between the sentences are specific and clear here another one blue is my favorite color of the sky and the sea and it reminds me of my favorite insect which is the butterfly so a possible answer could be blue is my favorite color it is the color of the sky and the sea also it reminds me of my favorite insect which is the butterfly so we added here full stop and we added here the word also another possible answer is blue is my favorite color because it is the color of the sky and the sea besides it reminds me of my favorite insect colon the butterfly another one we should get moving there there is no time to waste we could say could say we should get moving semicolon there is no time to waste or we should get moving full stop there is no time to waste or there is no time to waste so comma we should get moving by the end of this video i hope that you benefit from from it and i hope that you improve your writing skills good luck